All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about the best value high temp dual extruder 3D printer on the market today, and that is the FunMat Pro 410 from Intamsys. This machine is incredible. It's designed for Peak and Ultim and PPSU and other high temperature polymers, uh, metal replacement, high temp, super high strength composites with the carbon fiber and everything else in there. And it's just, it's one of the best priced machines on the market today. So over quick specs, let's just dive right in. It's uh, 500 Celsius on both nozzles. It is 160 Celsius on the bed and 90 Celsius in the chamber. And it's really 90 Celsius plus because of the water cooling, there may be a software update that increases that chamber temperature sometime in the near future. They're testing that right now. We'll see how it goes. On top of that, it has a heated filament chamber. And this is key. This is so key because all these performance plastics absorb moisture. So if it's got moisture in it and you try to melt it, steam and bubbles and all sorts of stuff comes out and it ruins your print every single time. So the fact that they've got an entire filament chamber down here with active heating up to 70 Celsius and a humidity monitor on top of that, it is really quite an offering. There's not many printers on the market right now with that feature and it's huge. It's so important for high temperature filament. It's got obviously water cooled components. That's a huge thing because now you can crank the chamber differently and it's just the, the, the nozzle and the heat break and the motors are all going to stay cool resulting in less mechanical and electronic failures sort of like we see on some of the older versions of these machines and just overall it looks awesome as well. It's got coolant in there. It's not actually water cooling. It's coolant that is running through the machine. You know, they built it extremely robustly with linear rails, really solid construction. One of the things we've always loved about Intamsys, we've been selling their machines on our website for years now, is the solid metal construction. This thing is beefy. It's metal. It's not made of plastic. It uses high quality. It's made of steel and aluminum, so it stays firm and tight and good throughout its life. That's one of the things we love the most about it. Uh, on top of that, it's got a much bigger build volume. As you can see here, it actually goes to 305 by 305 by 406 millimeters, which is one foot, 12 inches by 12 inches by 16 inches tall. So across the bed, you've actually got the full foot. That was a huge request. A lot of our customers have been asking for over the years is just give me a cubic foot. Well, now you got it plus some. And that'll actually give you 14 or 15 inches across the diagonal if you need to do it flat on the plate. Moving on, we also have a top door entry here, which is great for monitoring prints, for getting in there and changing nozzles and things like that. You might need a step stool. I'm 6'4". Look at this thing. This thing is huge. This is a beast of a machine. We call it Big Blue here in the shop. So, you know, big machine, high temp. It's got all the specs you need. Comes at a great price tag. Check that out on our website, visionminer.com slash printers. Uh, if you want to see all the different printers that we offer but this one in particular one of the best features i've found just use it in the shop and jay will attest to this it's the user interface they've really gone to a new level on this machine with all the different features of the user interface you've got all the stats that you need like the temperature of the left and the right nozzle the build plate the chamber the filament chamber even the humidity in the filament chamber and get this the weight of the spools in the filament chamber. As you can see here, the filament spools actually go in, you slide it onto this thing, and then you set this down into the chamber, and it gives you the weight, which is awesome, because I can't tell you how many times I've wondered, do we have enough filament left to finish this print? I don't know, it looks close, let's, let's just go for it now we can actually know, okay, there's this much left on the spool, we should be able to hit it or we're gonna be a little bit short, but we know right off the bat, going right into it. On top of that, we've got, you know, just the, the ability to move around the axes is really, really good. They've made this, you got every control on here you need and you can jog any of the axes at 0.1 millimeters, 0.2 millimeters, one millimeter, 10 millimeter or 100 millimeters at a time. So for example, if I want to move the bed down 100 millimeters, I'm just going to select 100 millimeters and then hit down and it does its thing. I can't tell you how nice this is to have 
on a machine like this where you don't have to hold it and do, 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 it's just going, taking forever, you know. I can just do that. If I wanted to go all the way down, there's a button for that too. Goes all the way down. 406 millimeters in the Z. This machine is awesome. Now, if I want to home everything and just bring it all back, I've got a button for the X and the Y, a button for the Z, or a button for all three. Oh man, this is great. I, like these, these are the little things that make actually working in the shop with these machines day in, day out, that much easier and that much more pleasurable. Uh, these are 100% machine tools. They're not to the microwave status yet where you can just press a button and receive a part. It really is a craft and a skill. Uh, you can get the basics down in about a week and then it's, it's all going from there. It's all experience and you're using it like a CNC machine or something of that nature. So you do need an operator, somebody who understands the software. Uh, that's really important and key, but once you do, man, it, the stuff you can do is great. Uh, in the tuning area, we have everything here from the nozzle temperatures, the build plate chamber, filament chamber, as well as the print speed, material flow, and the left and right fan, which can be toggled in the middle of a print. So you can adjust all those settings while it's printing on the fly without issue. And it's also great just to show you, it shows you all the specs right on one screen. So you don't have to jog around through all these different menus and find out, <clears throat> you know, where's that thing I was looking for. Another cool thing is they have this dial here, which lets you quickly set to whatever temperature you want. Instead of holding that up arrow for, you know, a minute to get to 400 Celsius, you can just, oh, let me find 400. Let me go to the left nozzle. Go to 485, why not? Those are some of the features that make this thing nice. You've also got a material screen where you can control the extruders, which one's activated. You can extrude with it. You can set the temperature. You can also set the material on each side and you can unload and load the filament from this screen. This is also where you find the manual and automatic leveling. This has automatic leveling. It does work great. In the shop, honestly, most of the time we use manual leveling just because then we can dial it in exactly and we know it's perfect. And you know, that's just sort of the way we like to do it. But it's got auto leveling. And let me show you something cool about the auto leveling. As you can see, this is the nozzle. This is the nozzle for the 410. This is the auto leveling side. So it mounts, this, this sheath screws up into the thing and then the nozzle actually moves within that. So, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. That, and the heat break is part of the nozzle. So you get less jams, less leaking. You'll never have a leaking heat block. This is a great feature. All right, from there, you can also extrude manually, set the temperatures, everything else. And on top of that, there's a super massively improved material library where you can set up all the settings, and the temperatures and the unload temps and the maintain temperature times and everything else for your prints per material exactly how you want it. And you can customize the names of all those things. It's almost like a little Windows PC in the printer, which makes it a joy to use, I tell you. Especially coming from all these old, older systems, it's really nice. And of course in the system you have all the software versions and the hours and the time and the date and the Wi-Fi and you know, the door locks and the liquid cooling and the, just all sorts of stuff right there on the screen. This is also cloud connected, which means you can access it from computers and use it that way as well. You can do everything from here. You don't need to be on Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi can be removed and disabled for all you Department of Defense customers. I know you want that. Uh, but yeah, it's really great. It's also got a much, much, much better webcam than any of the machines we've seen. It's pretty darn high res and it's giving you a top-down view right there. So if you are viewing it remote, you can go and stop the print if it's failing or you can see little details to tell if your print's going well. That comes in really handy. Now inside, of course, let me go back to the axes. I'm just going to show you how the build plate works. Uh, let's drop the build plate to the bottom. So they use a glass ceramic plate. It's a dark amber, really dark amber, it looks black, and it just pulls out like this, and it's got four magnets, one on each corner. So one of the things you'll notice about this plate, it's shiny on one side and frosted on the other. 
So you'll be using, with our nanopolymer adhesive, you only ever use the smooth side, that's all you ever need to use. Uh, but if you're using the glue stick method for some special project, you can also use the frosted side. And we will have our carbon fiber plates available for this machine very soon as well. And that basically prevents it from ever breaking or chipping or cracking. These high performance polymers, their cooling rates versus the glass doesn't always, doesn't always go, you know, go too well with itself. Uh, so our carbon fiber plates really make a huge difference in saving money over the long run, really. It's a hundred, hundred something dollar build plate. You get our carbon build plate and it'll never break. You won't have to replace it. Just a good deal. We made it for ourselves, we give it to you. We've got the brushes in the back so that the two nozzles can clean themselves off as they switch between each material. That's a great feature. The nozzles actually move up and down when they're printing. So you're not gonna have one nozzle that's not printing and it's oozing and it's hitting the part, it's gonna be up and out of the way during the print. That's essential and key for having high quality, beautiful prints and dual extrusion. So as always, we sell these obviously on our website. Uh, we carry all the spare parts. When you buy from Vision Miner, we support you along with the manufacturer and you're not on a time difference. So if you're in the USA, we're here in California and we're ready to help you. And our guys in the back, you're not just talking to some trained support guy, you're talking to the engineers in the back who are actually using the machines every day. That's how we do what we do. We realize you're gonna use this machine, you're gonna run into problems, everyone does. There's no such thing as a perfect 3D printer yet. And so being able to talk to someone who understands exactly what you're going through is essential and key. And we do offer support packages for this machine as well. And we have this in the back and we're using them every day. So this, along with the other printers that we also offer in high temp. So if you're getting into the market and you wanna print high temperature, strong polymers, metal replacement, chemically resistant, very strong, high performance polymers like Peak, Ultim, PPSU, PPS, uh, carbon fiber nylon, carbon fiber peak. There's a million different options coming out every single week. And these machines and all the machines that we carry are designed specifically for that. High temp is our specialty and this is the newest addition to our lineup. And frankly, <sighs> my hopes were not high. My hopes were not that high. I was expecting there to be a lot of issues and I've been pleasantly surprised that it's actually been a solid machine and it's worked well, it's well designed. I mean, some of the features they got on here, you know, especially like the extruders, their design is awesome. It's really good, it was totally unexpected and it's been somehow a joy to use. It, it's amazing. You know, 3D printers are machine tools. It can be difficult, it can be, it can be time consuming and just being able to get into a good piece of hardware that works and is solid makes the whole process that much easier. So if you're looking to get into high temp printing, or if you're looking for a new large high temperature printer to add to your shop or to you know, maybe make new products or whatever it is you're doing, maybe you're doing jigs and fixtures or work holding for welding and CF Ultim, uh, this is a great machine to consider, mostly for its build volume and its dual extrusion capabilities. And the price tag, I mean, frankly, there's nothing that even comes close in the market right now. Uh, same goes for the FunMat HT. They are the best value high temp 3D printers on the market as of 2020. We'll see how things go over the next few years, but for right now, this thing is awesome. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit subscribe and comment and like the video. And if you got any questions or if I didn't cover anything in this that you want to know about, leave a comment below or shoot us an email at contact at visionminer.com or even give us a call. We're here every day, 833-774-6863, based out of sunny Southern California. And we're here to help. We love hearing about your projects and everything else you're doing. So with that, thanks for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you on the next one.